Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, we're going to talk about Def Leppard today. They have announced Diamond Star Halo's track by track worldwide broad broadcast premiere event. This is going to happen on February 25th. And what they're going to do, you know, this, uh, they're going to go uh, track by track, explain in detail how, how the song came about how it was made, and, you know, just the stories uh, behind each track, behind the music of this album that was released back on the stadium tour when it first started in the U.S. last year in May 2022. You know, it did come in at uh, number 10 on the Billboard 200 chart, and it marked the band's eighth top 10 LP. So, you know, and they talked a little bit about it, uh, you know, the drummer Rick a uh, Allen, he, uh, he, you know, he just talked about, you know, how it's different, and I've actually talked about it on episodes where bands are coming out now, just releasing tracks, release a track every two weeks, every month, that's kind of how they're doing it, or maybe they might do an EP, four or five songs. And uh, that is kind of today's trend. But, you know, uh, as Def Leppard's been around years and years, right, they, they're they not used to doing tracks, releasing tracks and things of that sort. So they like, um, that's why they uh, made this album. And they will continue to do that. They are uh, writing lyrics and songs now for a new album to be released later. There's no set date on that. It's, it's, it's not done yet. But uh, again, they, you know, everybody who grows up, I like the albums. Uh, it's kind of, I, I don't understand it really because vinyl sales are at an all record high. So um, uh, that'll be this episode of uh, Metalhead Nation Garage. And we'll see you next time. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're going to talk about the Super Bowl ads. We're, and, you know, to be specific, it's going to be classic rock commercials. Uh, you know, we'll do a roundup of them that's uh, been presented over the years. Um, of course, you know, it, uh, what got the talk all started was a new Super Bowl ad that's going to be appearing with uh, Workday. It's going to be with Paul Stanley, Joan Jett, Billy Idol, and Ozzy Osbourne. So, pretty cool. Um, if you haven't seen a trailer of it, you can you can see a trailer of it on uh, on YouTube uh, right now. So, uh, and then tomorrow it'll be airing on the Super Bowl. But uh, and, and that's kind of cool. I like seeing rock music in there. I wish they'd get a rock act, you know, for the halftime show. But uh, we're in a different era uh, nowadays. But uh, you know, and. Uh, but we can, uh, we'll go through these, you know. We just talked about Workday. Then we had uh, Kenny Loggins. He did the Michelob Ultra ad during a, uh, you know, it was a, it, it recreates a golf duel, you know, from Caddyshack and stuff. So, uh, and uh, had, you know, stars of Serena Williams and Tony Romo. Uh, guest appearance on there, so it was it, it was cool. Um, I like Kenny Loggins too, great musician. Uh, no bad words to say about Kenny Loggins. Got some great hits and some great soundtracks. The next one is uh, Elton John, and he did the Doritos uh, ad, so that was pretty cool. Um, now you got uh, Dave Grohl on Crown Royal. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, that's also pretty good. Um, you know, uh, uh, also, uh, you know, you had Night Ranger, Sister Christian song on the one. So, a uh, lot of rock acts over the years been on that Super Bowl ad. But uh, that'll be this episode of Metalhead Nation Garage. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel.